In terms of the market at the moment, still, despite two days of gains, very much a headline, very much news flow driven. Absolutely. We are seeing the market uh, just trading off the headlines coming out of Europe, but the market was extremely oversold. We saw a massive short co covering rally yesterday, up by 3.6%, the best performance since December 2008. And we've managed to follow it up with another gain of 0.9% today. Now, if we have a look at these short, um, if we have a look at these bear market rallies, typically they can reach the 50 day, the 100 day, or the 200 day moving averages. And if we just overlay those across the Australian share market. You can see that the nearest one, of course, is the 50-day moving average, and that stands at 4,205 points. So in terms of this bear market rally, that's the first target that we'd be looking at. Of course, our market outperformed other markets around the region, and that's really because of our commodity space story. We saw commodities rallying overnight. Copper prices were up by 4.5%. Nickel prices up by 5.3%. So that material space, the energy space, was a positive one. In fact, if we have a look at the intraday graph of the Australian market. This is what it looks like. And you can see that the market in the last half hour was sliding down and it looked like we might even end flat for the day, but it was that closing auction which saw our market ending up 0.9%. And that's really because of BHP Billiton. Before the closing auction, it was looking flat, but after the closing auction, up by half a percent. So our resource base giving us an extra boost in the region, but it was very much a risk on rally. We saw the property sector, the energy sector, and the consumer discretionary sectors all outperforming and of course the market really hoping for a solution to come out of the eurozone. See that happening, that risk reward uh, balance starting to be lean I suppose very much in favour of equities and, and more money pushed in? I think the key for traders and investors here to realise is that we have seen no concrete plans coming out of Europe. A two to three trillion um, bailout plan sounds fantastic in theory, but it may never see the light of day. Now, the market's starting to focus on a potential leveraged European financial stability fund, looking at potentially a firewall uh, around the troubled nations in the Eurozone and uh, maybe a 50% haircut on Greece debt. But this is all speculation at this stage. So the market sentiment is quite fragile because it is just trading on rumour charge as well as the headlines coming out. And we haven't seen anything concrete. And until we see something concrete, the market is going to continue to have these volatile times. If we have a look at some important points this week, we do see some voting on that European Financial Stability Fund and the expansion of it for the second bailout of Greece. Remember, it was just over a year ago that we were looking at the first bailout of Greece and already we're looking at the second uh, tranche. And I guess if we have a look, Finland, Germany, Austria, they're all looking at votes this week. Finland's vote is tonight, Germany tomorrow night and Austria on Friday. But of course, it's going to be Germany that's fitting going to be footing most of the bill for this. So it's going to be Germany's vote on Thursday that we're watching very closely. So a lot of speculation about a euro tarp, which is going to absorb the bad assets of eurozone banks, of haircuts, of potential uh, expansion of the European Financial Stability Fund and maybe even a leverage European Financial Stability Fund. But at the moment, this is all speculation and we haven't seen any concrete plans as yet. Up over 2% today. Julie Lee, one of the other big corporate stories out today, West Farmers. Uh, I suppose well flagged intention to, to sell Premier Coal, selling it to a, a Chinese company, a Chinese miner. Look, what do you think of the numbers, in particular the expected uh, profit it's likely to book? I think this came in line with expectations. No huge surprises here from West Farmers selling their Premier Coal uh, business. Of course, this was flagged in the uh, results that just came out, and we were expecting to see a sale within this first half. In terms of the $90 million uh, pre-tax profit they've booked, also in line with expectations. And if we have a look at West Farmers, I guess just in terms of the technicals, it's reached some important points as well. We have a look at West Farmers share price. This is West Farmers over the last 52 weeks. You can see that downtrend in August has been broken. So that points to better days for West Farmers. And we're looking at a target of about $34. Of course, if we do see West Farmers share price go the other way, you probably want to stop loss at that support level at the downtrend line around that $29 mark. But altogether, West Farmers coming in line with expectations, share price having a good day up by 1.1%.